Let's go through some tips. And in this video, we'll be using the supplies from the number 92 scroller box, going through those scroller tips as featured in the zine. All done using the lovely frisk watercolour paper that was also featured in this box. Some extra bits you'll need include a palette, a craft knife, sponge and two pots of water, as we'll be using paints. These paints to be exact, and they're looking a little bit blunt, so first we're going to give these a little sharpen. You can use a large sharpener, or if you have a craft knife you can use that as well. I'm going to be using a craft knife because I want to collect the pigment. Scrape the knife gently away from you, lifting layers of the wooden pencil barrel. Create a sharp tip by doing the same on the lead. And now I've got some pigment to paint with, as well as sharp pencils to draw with. Transfer all of that lovely pigment into a palette to activate later. Let's crack on. To start off with, I'm going to lay down the Frisk Masking Fluid. It has a fine applicator, so I'll be using it to draw some bits down. Hold the applicator at a low angle for more control of the fluid. The more upright you hold it, the more will come out. Masking fluid does take a while to dry, so patience is key. Grab a cuppa or collect some pigment, or you can even read through the zine. Each month there's an article and also an interview with our featured artist. You can check out more of Candace's work on Instagram. It's almost dry now and I can tell because once it turns dry, it turns into a rubber-like consistency. So let's activate some of the pigment we collected earlier. I've just used a wet paintbrush to do this. We're going to do the background, so I'm going to dip the sponge into the paint I've just activated and apply it to the page by dabbing. No real plan here, I just wanted to see what it would look like. And it creates a mottled texture when dry. If you prefer a more even finish, you can sweep it across the page. Now for the really fun bit, we're going to create some texture by sprinkling on some of that pigment. You need to do this while the page is wet so that it adheres to the page. You can also scrape the pigment directly with the craft knife. And that pigment's not quite bloomed enough for my satisfaction, so I'm going to flick on some water with a paintbrush. This will activate the paint a little more. I wanted to add even more texture, so I then went in with a wet sponge. It's always best to let paint dry before going on to the next stage. That way you're less likely to interfere with the layers underneath. Now I'm going to activate the pigment and use it like traditional watercolour paints using a paintbrush. You may notice I'm not using the brush that came with the box. This is because my cat stole it. He likes paintbrushes and I'll often find them under the sofa or even outside depending on where he feels they should live now. We're going to let this dry again before going in with our next layer. Now I'm going to work on top with the pencils as they are. This will help build up more intense layers of colour. Again, no real plan, it just felt nice to experiment freely with the pencils. You can also create some really nice sketchy effects this way. Another way to activate these pencils is by dipping directly into water. So I'm going to do that and add another layer this way as well. This will dry down smoother than the dry pencils, adding in a bit more texture to the page for visual interest. dry and then we can go in and remove the masking fluid. It's really easy to peel away or gently remove by using an eraser. Pulling it off is incredibly satisfying. I wanted to add a little bit more colour so I'm just going in with those dry pencils one more time. The great thing about these pencils is you can just draw or sketch with them. They're really fun and so versatile. And there we have it, some tricks and tips for using the number 92 scroller box. Having fun and finding your own way to use them is always the best part. Until next time scrawlers, keep scrolling!